Right, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to rebuild your clutch master cylinder. This will also work for the old style brake master cylinder. So if like me you don't want to spend a lot of money um, and you want to give things a go yourself, <coughs> you can buy a brake or clutch master cylinder rebuild kit. So this comes with all your um, spring, a new plunger and uh, all the seals that you're going to need. So I have already taken this one apart and give it gave it a good clean so I can show you everything um, as we go along. If we pull back this rubber boot just pull this off out of the way. So you should be able to see in there there's a little spring clip so you use your a circlip, that's what it's called. So you use your circlip pliers or I've got these needle nose pliers which I had to file off to fit. And they just slot in, squeeze it together. Right. Bit of faffing. Right, <laughs> so that all happened at once. So left on the plunger here you've got a couple of parts. There's a, a little washer which fits over the end of the plunger. There's a collar which I think is for the rubber boot to ride on. Got your little circlip there as well. So if you just give this a little pull. If like mine your car has been sitting for over 10 years this will probably be um, full of gunk. Also in here you have another seal and spring. So be very careful to remove this you don't want to scratch the piston bore at all. So, before going any further, take some brake cleaner or something, clean this out really well, and then have a look down the bore and make sure there are absolutely no scratches or there's no wear in there. If, the, if this is all pitted and corroded, just don't bother buy a new one because it the seal will just fail. So um, you probably can't see very well, but the the bore in mine looks absolutely perfect. So yeah, we'll carry on with this. Right. So here's our kit. We've got the new boot that goes on the outside, but that's one side for now. You've got two your two different seals, new plunger, new collar for the spring, new spring even, and a little shim. So we can put this old stuff to one side because we're not going to be reusing that. It probably would still work. It's not been tested, but like I said, it's been sitting for for 10 years unused. So I've got a little bit of brake fluid in here. Um, so I'm just going to pop the seals in there to make sure they're nice and lubricated. So the first one that's going to be the most trickiest the most trickiest, the trickiest, is probably going to be this, uh, this seal that goes over here. So you can always look at your old one if you're not sure. 
So you can see that's um, you can see it's like tapered slightly. And obviously you've got manual that's always handy. So that one should so this seal should just slip on over the top of plunger. Like so. And then you have your little shim which sits over this end. Or should do. There you go. This um, spring washer will kind of clip in on the end of the spring. Right, so now with your uh, with your little cap on your spring, that can go in fat end first. You can put your new seals on your shaft. Put a little bit of brake fluid on those just to make sure they're nice and lubricated. And push that down nice and carefully. Right. Right, so before you go any further, you want to take your rubber seal and you need to stretch it over the plunger or oh, sorry the push rod and you can push that back onto this little metal collar then you can push Push the push rod onto the plunger, making sure the seals go in nicely. Push that down, squeeze your circlip in, and you should be able to just squeeze the circlip back together. Right, there we go. Ugh, bit of a pain. Like I said, with proper circlip pliers that would have gone in in a second. So it's really that simple. Push your boot back over. That stops any dirt and debris getting in there. And there you go, simple as that. So if you have if you have circlip pliers, I'm sure you could do this in uh, under five minutes. It's not a difficult job. It's a bit of a pain. If you don't so that's there, ready to install back on the car. So thanks for watching and join me in the next video.